Hello, let's predict some uh, lotto numbers for the next draw, which is draw 2133. The most recent draw was 2132. And as you can see, it was machine offer, set of balls number 5, again, because that's what it was last time. The uh, next set of balls will probably be number six because it's not been used for a long time and it seems to be sets five to eight that they're using at the moment. And the machines are from Guinevere. And looking at the chart for the lotto since they added the numbers 50 to 59 in draw 2066 this is where the numbers are at the moment <coughs> you can see 45 has only come out once since then whereas uh, one of the new numbers 57 has come out 13 times so we don't need to omit any of the other machines because we've only been using these two machines since then. But now that they've changed to sets of balls 5 to 8, we can omit sets 1 to 4. And it gives us this uh, kind of a dense looking chart. You can see 53 has not been drawn yet with these sets of balls. So, so if we look at the draw history for, if we look at the statistics just for Arthur and Guinevere, these two machines, and For these sets of balls, ignoring the numbers that they've added lately, this is what the chart looks like. More frequent at this end, more overdue at the bottom, more recent at the top, less frequent at this end. See, the other numbers are way over there. They've only just been added. <coughs> so as you can see it looks pretty normal. Apart from this little column of numbers here. Interesting. Look at all the sets of balls for those two machines. That's what it looks like. Can't have the chart the right way up because those other numbers that have been added way over there make it impossible if we do that we only get to see these ones so let's just look at the data since they changed the game so when they added the new numbers that was a game changer really matter what machines we look at, we've all been using these two anyway. So, if we want to predict a number for um, for just one of these machines, for example Arthur, looks like the most frequent is 57, these numbers here in the zero column, they've not been drawn yet. Quite a lot of them there. Now the cost is 59 numbers and six of them will be drawn. It's safe to assume that roughly one out of ten numbers will will be drawn. So if we draw a box 
and add any 10 numbers it's safe to assume that one of them will uh, on average be drawn in the next draw so let's look at the chart for uh, this machine Guinevere look at the chart for Guinevere most frequent is 23 <coughs> got 11 numbers here I'm assuming one of these will be drawn and considering that 53 hasn't been drawn on either machine yet I would probably predict number 53 is going to be drawn let's see where it is on this chart See so we've sets of balls 1 to 4, 53 has been drawn 7 times, there it is, but it's not been drawn once yet on sets 5 to 8, so if it is drawn in the next draw, that's what the chart will look like, this is what it will look like for the sets of numbers they're using at the moment. <coughs> So then we'll just need to pick another five numbers from this region. Where you've got four numbers in one square, that's kind of interesting. See what numbers they are. Yeah, we've got 46, 37, 34. Number one, all in this square here, it's quite a dense region. So, if we draw a box around there, for example, we can assume that it's most likely that one of these numbers is going to be drawn. So, we'll pick one of those numbers. And then we just need to pick four numbers from around here. Maybe two out of this column. Maybe two out of this box. Some from down here, some from here. So I'll leave that to you. Not really much, uh, not really spread out much on this chart yet. Because we're only looking at the data for draws 2086 to 2132 and just 4 sets of all, 2 machines it's still, still quite in the early stages of development so it's a bit harder to predict but I would definitely predict 53 and um, one of these numbers now I don't look at the bonus ball on this chart, I don't even bother with the bonus ball. I just look at the first six numbers that come out, the main numbers. <coughs> so if I was going to put a hot pick on, I'll pick number 53 and a one number hot pick. Maybe 53 with one of these numbers or something else, I don't know. So there's a chart for you to have a look at. I'm going to be picking numbers based on these statistics. So, good luck for that. I hope this video helps you win. And thanks for watching.